Two changes with Lloyd Doyley and Chris Uilumu in for Lee Hodson and Joe Garner. There were two changes also for Lee Clark. Nicola Zigic was recalled and Ben Gordon came in to make his debut. Let's join our match commentator, Paul Walker. The drop. The challenge from Caldwell. But here's Yates up against Spectre. He's got Padil on the overlap. Here is Padil. Options in the box. Good save, Botland. Vidra trying to follow up. And there's been a push by Caldwell on Vidra. And the referee, Keith Stroud, has given the penalty. Good save initially from Botland. And a clear push from Caldwell. What a chance for Watford to take an early lead. It's Alman Abdi. Scores! Watford had inside four minutes. His second for Watford since arriving on loan from Udinese. Murray's ball in is a good one. Taylor! Good save, Botland. But it should be two for Watford. Taylor against his former club should have done better. Zigic. Block from Yates. Uelamo. Yates takes over once more, and that's a cracking ball. And now Vidra, he's onside, and 2 0! Watford extend their lead! What a run! It's a tight call, but the referee allows him to go on, and he sticks it away with ease. Terrific ball from Yates. Coming forward again here, Watford. Abdi. Chance to play the ball in here. Another good header from Vidra. Birmingham at sixes and sevens. There's Murray. Away by Davis. But Murray will get another chance here. Options in the box. Just put wide by Abdi. Good ball in. Be relieved it's still only 2 0. It's a good ball from Yates. He's picked out Padil. Murray supporting here. Murray with three to aim at. Goes himself. Well, he was entitled to have a go, but Butland had it covered. And Franco's new look side is working well. Burke. Birmingham try and find a way back in here. Spectre finding Mullins. Good chance. Great block. Nosworthy. Nosworthy needed to get there and did. And Birmingham see a good opportunity wasted. It's his free kick. Wellamo's up there and just over. Good delivery from Yates. Burke's free kick. Can't find anybody in blue. Coldwell keeps it alive. Davis with a leap. Well, it was close. Curtis Davis with a header. But it's been that kind of day for Birmingham. A minute and a half in, and you concede a penalty, which you could have uh, you could have handled a lot better by uh, dealing with the situation earlier. So. You start chasing the game straight away again after what we talked about after Tuesday evening. Really pleased about the goals and also the way we played. Um, there were spells in which we really play high, high, high quality football and uh, very, very pleased for the players because uh, you know they, they weren't very pleased. I wasn't very pleased at the Saturday performance and we needed a reaction and they did it in style. The players I've got are more than good enough to get the club where they want to be and where the supporters deserve to be. We have to start performing, all of us, me down over, and getting better results and better performances. Better performances will, uh, you know, in turn get you better results, and we have to do that very, very quickly. Now that, you know, I've I've been backed fantastically to bring the players in. I have, and now we now all have to start performing. Yeah, Lee Clark clearly deflated after that defeat. As for Watford, Leroy, six points from a possible nine. You got a glimpse.
in that first 45 minutes, what Zola's doing at Watford, the passing, the movement, he's sticking to this blueprint, isn't he? Yeah, they had full control. You know, they won in the last minute against Palace in their first game, lost in the last minute against Ipswich, but he had full control of this game. The penalty helped him after four minutes. Bad penalty from Birmingham's point of view in the second from Vidra really settled them down and had full control of the game. That's what he wants. He wants to have control of the ball, which gives them control of the game, and, and that's why they got the three points. No win for Birmingham after three.